A man convicted of killing his wife, in-laws, and another person has been on death row for decades now. But the convicted killer says he is innocent. West Shoes Michelle Meredith explains he may get an opportunity to prove it. Tommy Ziegler has been on death row for decades, convicted of killing his wife, in-laws, and another man in the family's furniture store in 1975. From day one, Ziegler said he did not do it. I'm not guilty of what I'm charged with. And soon he will get his chance to possibly prove it through DNA testing. State attorney Monique Worrell has agreed to support Ziegler's request to have his DNA tested, a request Ziegler's attorneys have made many times. If we test this DNA, we will find out who the killer was. The state attorney told me she agreed in essence because the case is so old and the technology has advanced so much that everything must be done to prove whether Ziegler is guilty or innocent, that every case deserves this, but with Ziegler, his life hangs in the balance. The quadruple murder happened in 1975 at a time when mass murders were rare. The public was horrified. Ziegler said a stranger came into the store, hit him over the head, shot him in the stomach, and that the stranger shot his wife, her parents, and a customer in their winter garden furniture store on Christmas Eve. Detectives described it as a bloodbath. The state attorney tells me that a judge must approve this request, and if and when that happens, everything in the evidence locker connected to this case will be released. Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. And State Attorney Worrell says 29 people have been exonerated and taken off death row through new DNA tests.